Back in Fremantle, the excitement of the Dockers playing in their first grand final in their 19-year history has continued to build. And win or lose tomorrow, tens of thousands of fans are expected to descend on the port city. It was the calm before the storm in Fremantle. Businesses have had just a week to prepare for the influx of football fans and there's some nervous excitement in the air. Very anxious. We've uh, tried to do everything that we can to get smooth running, but I know it's not going to be. Look, I just want people to have a real good time. Fremantle's cappuccino strip was awash with purple. Fans confident that when the final siren sounds, they'll be celebrating a win. Purple power is everywhere. So we've got the purple passion and we've got the power and we're going to kick butt tomorrow and it's going to be brilliant. Once the game's over, we'll be hitting Fremantle and Lord knows what'll happen after that, but it'll be on. It'll be fantastic. Win, lose or draw. South Terrace will be closed to traffic from 6 o'clock in the morning. Four big screens will broadcast the game live, including at two family-friendly locations away from the main street. Final preparations are underway to cater for the 20,000 fans expected in Fremantle tomorrow. Pubs will be open early, but revellers are being urged to take it easy. It could be a long day for some people. I would say people pace themselves, have a great day, uh, enjoy the game, enjoy the hospitality. Let's celebrate the win with the Dockers and let's do it responsibly. Police have promised a major presence in Fremantle and say while some rowdiness is expected, any antisocial behaviour won't be tolerated. Anywhere, anytime. Charlotte Hamlin, ABC News.